carry out a random act of kindness, with no expectation of reward, safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. Everyone needs to be valued. Everyone has the potential to give something back. I don't go by the rule book. I lead from the heart, not the head. Loneliness is the worst pain in this world. It constantly eats away the person's heart, and can cause the person to hate, to feel enraged. It is like a wound of the heart, the type of wounds that cannot go away with a kiss or a hug. The only thing that can make this great pain go away is love and compassion, another human heart to pull them out of this hell. You can't comfort the afflicted with afflicting the comfortable. The worst illness of our time, is that so many people have to suffer from never being loved. The greatest problem in the world today is intolerance. Everyone is so intolerant of each other. Perhaps we're too embarrassed to change or too frightened of the consequences of showing that we actually care. But why not risk it anyway? Begin today. Carry out a random act of seemingly senseless kindness, with no expectation of reward or punishment, safe in the knowledge that one day, someone somewhere might do the same for you. I remember saying to my husband, why? Why have you got this lady around? And he said, well, I refuse to be the Prince of Wales who never had a mistress. Only do what your heart tells you. If you find someone you love in your life, then hang on to that love. Nothing brings me more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. It is a goal and an essential part of my life, a kind of destiny. Whoever is in distress can call on me. I will come running wherever they are. You see yourself as a good product that sits on a shelf and sells well, and people make a lot of money out of you. Whoever is in the distress can call me. I will come running wherever they are. Helping people in need is a good and essential part of my life, a kind of destiny. A mother's arms are more comforting than anyone else's. One day I'm going to go up in a helicopter and it'll just blow up. MI5 will do away with me. There's no better way to dismantle a personality than to isolate it. Family is the most important thing in the world. I knew what my job was, it was to go out and meet the people and love them. Every one of us needs to show how much we care for each other and, in the process, care for ourselves. I work on instinct. It's my best advisor. I understand people's suffering, people's pain, more than you will ever know yourself. Everybody needs hugs. Being constantly in the public eye gives me a special responsibility, particularly that of using the impact of photographs to transmit a message, to sensitize the word to an important cause, to defend certain values. I don't want expensive gifts, I don't want to be bought. I have everything I want. I just want someone to be there for me, to make me feel safe and secure. I should never have played with fire, and I did and I got very burned. You have so much pain inside yourself that you try and hurt yourself on the outside because you want help. People think that at the end of the day a man is the only answer. Actually, a fulfilling job is better for me. I've got what my mother's got however bloody you are feeling you can put on the most amazing show of happiness. The kindness and affection from the public have carried me through some of the most difficult periods, and always your love and affection have eased the journey. The press is ferocious. It forgives nothing, it only hunts for mistakes. 
In my position anyone sane would have left a long time ago. Hugs can do great amounts of good, especially for children. The people that I care about are the people out there on the street. I can identify with them. Don't call me an icon. I'm just a mother trying to help. I'm much closer to the people at the bottom than the people at the top, and the latter won't forgive me for it. When you are happy you can forgive a great deal. I want my boys to have an understanding of people's emotions, their insecurities, people's distress, and their hopes and dreams. Life is just a journey. I was compelled to perform. When I say perform, I was compelled to go out and do my engagements and not let people down and support them and love them. In a way, by being out in public, they supported me although they weren't aware of just how much healing they were giving me. It carried me through. I like to be a free spirit. Some don't like that, but that's the way I am. I have a woman's instinct and it's always a good one. They say it is better to be poor and happy than rich and miserable, but how about a compromise like moderately rich and just moody? No one sat me down with a piece of paper and said, this is what is expected of you. But, I'm lucky enough in the fact that I have found my role. I love being with people. I'd like people to think of me as someone who cares about them. It took a long time to understand why people were so interested in me, but I assumed it was because my wonderful husband had done a lot of wonderful work leading up to our marriage and our relationship. But then, over the years, you see yourself as a good product that sits on a shelf and sells well. People make a lot of money out of you. If men had to have babies, they would only ever have one each. I think when I came into marriage especially when you've had divorced parents like myself. You'd want to try even harder to make it work and you don't want to fall back into a pattern that you've seen happen in your own family. I desperately want it to work, I desperately love my husband and I wanted to share everything together. And I thought that we were a very good team. You can't do anything good that you don't feel in your heart. It's not sissy to show your feeling. I am not a political figure, nor do I want to be one, but I come with my heart. The biggest disease this day and age is that of people feeling unloved. I understand that change is frightening for people, especially if there's nothing to go to. It's best to stay where you are. I understand that. The public wanted a fairy princess to come and touch them and everything would turn to gold. Little did they realize that the individual is crucifying herself inside because she didn't think she was good enough. I'd like to be queen of people's hearts. I'm aware that people I have loved and have died and are in the spirit world looking after me. I do things differently, because I don't go by a rule book because I lead from the heart, not the head, and albeit that's got me into trouble in my work, I understand that. My first thoughts are that I should not let people down, that I should support them and love them. I think the biggest disease the world suffers from in this day and age is the disease of people feeling unloved. I know that I can give love for a minute, for half an hour, for a day, for a month, but I can give. I am very happy to do that, I want to do that. Anywhere I see suffering, which is where I want to be, doing what I can. Being a princess isn't all it's cracked up to be. Death doesn't frighten me. I want to walk into a room, be it a hospital for the dying or a hospital for the sick children, and feel that I am needed. I want to do, not just to be. 
It is a weakness that I lead from my heart, and not my head. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.